basically allowing anyone with a computer and an internet connection to participate. Social media platforms are also potentially allow users to engage with a global audience and they can support an almost unlimited number of speakers, making it one of the most interactive mediums that's ever existed. And finally, social media is uniquely user controlled, meaning users have a lot of choice over what content they will see and who they will interact with. And it's precisely these distinct attributes that undermine a lot of the justifications for why we have uh, regulated traditional media in the way that we have. And I think most importantly here, social media platforms have played an indispensable role in enabling free expression, civic engagement, and a range of other rights on the global internet. It is precisely these services that provide platforms for users to speak, access information, and engage with the global community. But of course, the openness of these platforms also means that they can be used for ill as well as good, including to commit crimes or disseminate expression that might be deeply offensive to some. So the question then becomes, how do we address this reality in a way that preserves openness and protects privacy and security? And I would really put forth that laws that hold the platforms themselves responsible for the bad behavior of users can not only hurt the expressive potential of these platforms, but will also have a negative impact on openness and the privacy of, of users um, for a couple of different reasons. Uh, first, the fear of liability will encourage platforms to act as gatekeepers and close these platforms for uh, user activity. And second, that platforms might feel like they need to surveil users more uh, for fear of future legal action. Of course, that doesn't mean that the companies who provide these social plat media platforms themselves don't have a responsibility to protect the privacy and security of their users. And there's actually a growing body of work that provides a common framework for how companies can do this on the global internet. Companies who build their practices around the fair information practice principles and around the privacy framework created by the Global Network Initiative will be best positioned to protect both privacy security and promote openness on the global internet. And of course, governments also have a role ensuring that companies live up to this responsibility. But in any cases, the policy approaches that we adopt must address the bad uses of social media uh, in a way that fully assesses the trade-offs uh, and, and really assesses the impact on openness, security, and privacy, as well as a range of human rights. Thank you. Thank you, Cynthia.